Okay, so in this example here, metric conversions, metric imperial conversions, it says this, Alex is six feet, two inches tall. To list his height on his driver's license application, Alex needs to convert this measurement into centimeters. So what we're looking for here is six feet, two inches equals how many centimeters? Okay, that's the question here, A. What is Alex's height to the nearest centimeter? So we're going to round it to the nearest whole centimeter. Anybody have an idea how we're going to go about this? I need to get from here to here. Okay, I need to get from 6 foot 2 inches into centimeters. So, do we have a conversion from 6 foot 2 inches or feet and inches into centimeters? We don't have a conversion. We've been kind of writing down some conversion factors. What do we have though? We have inches to centimeters, don't we? So, inches to centimeters, right? We multiply by 2.54, you should put in there. So, you should have 2.54 as your conversion factor. So this is feet and inches, so I need to convert this just to plain old inches, right? Put that in plain old inches. So how can I convert six feet into inches? What do I have to multiply by? Okay, good, six times 12. How do we know that? <clears throat> Little unit analysis says that there are 12 inches per one foot. Perfect. And so that's how I know I have to multiply the feet cancel out there and I've got 6 times 12 and that's going to give me inches. All right. So that number is going to be what? What's 6 times 12? That's 72 inches. Now that's just 6 feet. So 6 foot 2 is 72 inches plus 2 inches, which is 74 inches. All right? Everybody with me? All right? You guys writing this down? Back there? Yeah? Should be working this out, writing this down. Okay? So now I need to go 74 inches equals how many centimeters? And again, we could do unit analysis for that. We also have our straight conversion factor, right? So 74 inches times 2.54 centimeters per one inch. So 74 times 2.54 gives us 187.96 centimeters. 187.96. So what's the answer to question A here? To the nearest centimeter, our final answer would be 188 centimeters because this is closest to 188. Okay. Everybody, any, any questions about that? All right, now B says use mental math and estimation to justify that the answer is reasonable. Okay. A um, few different ways you could do this. Uh, you know, six foot, six foot two inches. I mean, if you, if you think about six foot two inches, you can literally think, okay, um, if someone is six foot two inches, where, how, how tall is that? You can kind of envision that. And then what you could do is you could envision a meter stick. And you say, how many meter sticks would stack up you know, to, uh, to, to be that tall? And if you think about two meter sticks is maybe up here, right? And so 188 would be a little less than that. Is that about six foot two? Okay? That's a good way to estimate. Um, how do you write that down? You know, it's, you can just <laughs> that's, that's your problem. But that's, that's one way to uh, estimate, okay? Uh, mental math, okay, mental math. Let's think about that. If we have about 72, 74 inches, you could go, okay, well, let's say that's close to, that's close to 70, okay? What's 70 times 2.5? Let's just estimate in our head, and you could probably do that. What's 70 times 2 is 140. Okay, well, let's do 74 times 2. 74 times 2 is about 1. 48. Now, if you're also multiplying by 2 and then 0.5, you add another 0.5 of 74. 
So half of 74 would be about 37, right? So what did we say? We had 148 plus 37. So 130 plus one, you know, 140 plus one, you know, plus 40 is about 180 or so. So again, you just round the numbers and do some mental math, right? Even do 70 times two and a half, that's 140 plus 35 is 175. So it's close, right? Okay, so that's the sort of thinking that you would uh, maybe do for that example.